What's up? This is Jake and Kristen with Hike 734. Today we're climbing Great Northern just south of Glacier National Park. The Climber's Trail starts out over by Hungry Horse Creek just outside of the Hungry Horse Reservoir and then it works its way climbing steeply all the way up the ridge line all the way to the summit of the mountain. But anyways, yeah, we started out um, crossing over the bridge that is got blocked off now because it's starting to get old and run down and crossed over the creek, this Hungry Horse Creek. And just as soon as you do, you just take a little right um, and then there's the humble little trail. It's the climber's trail so it is unofficial and it's super super steep. It just works its way up in a fast hurry um, so it is just a slog up through the trees for about 2,500 feet and a couple miles and so um, as you get higher up you start to see some views and we had some morning fog um, but it was still really pretty we got to as we got higher up we got to see a lookout and um, and then finally we got up onto the ridge itself um, which we still had a long ways to go but from there we spent some time just looking around including looking at how shrouded the mountain was in fog um, we could see the dam itself and just a bunch of um, yeah just a bunch of really cool vantages um, and then from there the trail just kind of works its way along the ridge just kind of going up and down down, and um, we found lo loads of huckleberries, which Kristen still is finding right now. And um, it just, just followed the ridge as it works its way up and down, but mostly up as it just kind of works its way along, kind of poking through the trees and the subalpine meadows. Um, you can see the mountain, but um, this is what it looks like later on, um, where you can see the mountain um, after we summited. You could definitely, it all cleared up so you could see all the way to the top. But as we traverse across that ridge, one of the things was we noticed down below us, we spotted a grizzly bear feeding up on these delicious huckleberries. So it was really fun to watch him for a while. And um, he went up and over the ridge and then into the next drainage. So we picked him back up again over there and was watching him as we traversed across this ridge. And then as you get higher up it gets more into the rocks and um, this is definitely a route so you're gonna have to kind of find the way although it is fairly well traveled so finding the trail is fairly easy um, but it's a it's a climb it's a lot of vertical um, it's over 4,000 verticals so um, just be ready for that but yeah um, at, off, off to the left as we were climbing up man that thing drops off precipitously it just dropped for thousands of feet below so um, definitely gives you the heaves and the jeebs but it's a uh, really really cool and just huge it's just so big um, and just uh, can almost give you vertigo sometimes um, but anyways but the rock changes to where it starts to get into some browner rock and gets higher up and then you start to go oh sweet there's the summit and then you realize that's actually a false summit um, but just past the false summit um, you can start to see the um, glacier which is this is what it looked like when we first saw it but then later on on our way down you could just see um, on a clear day oh my goodness this glacier is fantastic um, and there you're really starting to be able to see out over into into glacier the south end of glacier and i'm going to kind of mix in both the later on shots as well as some of the current shots um, as we were climbing up which is full of fog and wind um, but anyways yeah it just continues to work its way up along the ridge this is a big mountain and you definitely get the sense of it as you're climbing up um, but we finally got up to the top and from the top there's definitely loads of views we got them in pieces um, <laughs> just as we would like they would it would open up for a little bit and we'd be able to see to the north they would open up for a little bit we'd be able to see to the south and then it would just completely sock in um, so we had little pocket views but we had lunch and then we turned around and started coming or coming down and as we came down it definitely opened up a lot and then the the fog and the clouds lifted and we were able to see all the way up hungry horse reservoir all the way into glacier it was super super beautiful um, yeah definitely lots of birds today as well some really cool birds um, and, and some migrating birds and then also just a lot of um, yeah huckleberries and uh, fantastic views as we worked our way down um, and now we're just um, working our steep steep way down um, and just kind of stopping here I was looking at the bear and uh, so I was watching him and Kristen was over here picking huckleberries and that's kind of par for the course for the two of us anyways this is Jake and Kristen with hike 734 climbing Great Northern just south of Glacier National Park see him He pulls the, you can, he's pulling the berry, the berry bushes close to his face with the paws. I always wondered how they would do it. 
Do you want to grab my binoculars? No, it's all right. I love watching them. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and head on over to hike734.com for more goodness.